With almost 3 million visitors every year, Pompeii is one of the world's most popular tourist sites. But in recent months, several buildings have collapsed, prompting public outrage and concern from archaeologists and tour guides that Italy's cultural treasures are not being properly maintained. For years, the amount of money set aside for the task has been shrinking, making it ever more difficult to preserve the country's unrivaled historic monuments. The culture budget has crumbled from 7 billion euros in 2008 to just 5 billion this year. The conservation of our cultural heritage, like the Colosseum or the Domus Aurea, just to take two examples, though you could actually say from Calabria in the south to Trentino in the north, is at risk of collapse, because there has been no effort to conserve this heritage. In March of this year, part of the roof collapsed at the Domus Aurea, the golden house built in Rome by Emperor Nero in 64 AD. And nearby, even the Colosseum is said to be at risk. Our heritage is huge and very fragile, as we are not only talking about 16th century paintings, but also objects and monuments which are thousands of years old. So Italy should be able to do a lot more to save them. The government says the economic crisis has made the budget cuts unavoidable. Italy is one of the most heavily indebted countries in the Eurozone. And growth predictions for the next year have been downgraded. Italy has still not understood that its cultural assets should not be considered as a luxury when economic growth falters, but rather as one of the tools of economic recovery. The Colosseum may yet have more luck than Pompeii. An Italian entrepreneur has said he's ready to take charge of restoring the famous amphitheatre and increase its chances of surviving another 2,000 years.